hello welcome to Issy's Tarot thank you for coming to my channel you could have gone anywhere but you came to my channel for that I'm always grateful I am going to do a Sagittarius love prediction reading for August 7th through August 13th please keep in mind this is a general read if it's not your story it's not your story don't try to make it your story just take what you can from it and leave the rest in addition please know the energy can go either way it can be your energy your significant other's energy or someone else's in your love space please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen if you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decided to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my fiery, impulsive, fun, loving Sagittarius. Show me what's going on with my freedom-loving Sagittarius. Let's see, Sag, just what you got going on. Let's see. Six of Cups. Uh-oh. Four of Cups. The Hierophant. The High Priestess. And the Ace of Wands. Sag, I haven't read this for you for a while, but there's someone here in your love space that you want to be back with. I don't know. You can't even love it right. You want to be married to this person too. I'm just telling you. There is someone. This Six of Cups is leading this reading. This Six of Cups is all about someone that wants to, you want to be back with someone. And they want to be back with you, I think, possibly too. You know, and what's interesting here is that this Four of Cups is next to the Six of Cups. Four of Cups means that you're not loving on anybody the right way. You're giving them just enough love because someone's still in your love space. Someone is still in your love space and you have not released them. I haven't read this for you for a while. Who is this person that keeps coming back to your love space? No matter how hard you try, it seems like they keep coming back. Six of Cups, it's a reunion. You want to get back with someone. Someone you've had great times with. Someone that you still love. Someone that you used to kick it with. Someone that was just all that and everything to you. And you want to get back with them. And here's this Four of Cups. You're, you haven't gotten back together with them, though. But the Four of Cups is about not giving all your love. You know, it, it, it actually, you, you're just not giving your love to everyone. You're, it's almost like you're playing with everyone else. But you want to be married to one specific person. I see the Hierophant card that's in the middle of your reading. That's marriage. Who is this person that you want to marry? Who is this person that you're still in love with after all this time? Who is this? I don't know, but here I see the high priestess here. I do see the high priestess here. And the high priestess, she has secrets. The high priestess has secrets. And I'm going to tell you, I think you're holding back secrets from someone that loves you. But you're not in love with this person. Let me not, you're, you love them, but you're not in love with this person. And you're holding back secrets. You've got secrets here. Because, see, this Hierophant is, is in the middle of your read. I think they possibly want to marry you as well. But you're not because the Four of Cups is, is, is in front of this Hierophant. So that means to me that this, it, it doesn't matter. You've given them love. You've given them, you know, kindness. Um, you've loved on them. Yes, I mean, you've done some things with them. But guess what? It's not who you want. They're not who you want. Unfortunately, they're just not who you want. <sighs> wow. Wow. I see an ace of wands here, and I'm trying to be very discreet, but this is someone, whoever you want back with, they are a heck of a lover. They, I mean, you and them had a, a incredible chemistry. There was something, this was just some that type of, you know, hmm, they're just an incredible lover, and it's also, you just want to be back with them. You miss that. I, I see you when, I see you dreaming, daydreaming about this sometimes, the type of lovemaking that you guys used to do. Now, if this is your read, I'm sorry, I'm going to um, clear, I'm sorry what's happening right now because your heart space is not with whomever you're with. If you're with someone, your heart space is not there. Your heart space is simply not with this person because you're still in love with someone else. But let me say this to you. Um, you've got to ma make some decisions because I do believe that this person wants to marry you as well. Now, if this is your read, please give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading. Let me clarify the reading for you. Let me clarify it. Let's see. Why is this Six of Cups here? Just sit back, relax, and let's see what additional information the Spirit Guys want to say to you. Let's see. Why is this Six of Cups here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is this Six of Cups here? Let's 
see. Seven of Cups. You got a lot of different options, don't you? But there's only one that you want to be with, someone that you loved in the past and someone that you want to be back with. This Seven of Cups is a lot of different options. You have options. But that, none of the options satisfy you. None of the options satisfy you because your heart space is with someone else. Let's see why the Four of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Four of Cups here for my Sagittarius? Show me. Why is the Four of Cups here for my Sagittarius? Oh, I have the Sun card. Wow. The Sun card is here. That's the best card. Whenever you were with this person, um, you felt like rainbows and unicorns. Every, unicorns, everything. Your world was just absolutely right. You were walking on clouds. Um, but here's the deal. The Sun card also illuminates. The Sun card will illuminate the, the positives and the negatives. So you got to remember that. What happened with this relationship? Was it you? Was it them? You have to remember that. But nonetheless... With this Four of Cups here, you're not giving your space to anybody, your love space to anyone. Because, like I said with the Six of Cups here, no matter how happy they think they make you, there's that one portion, that 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 uh, other cup that they can't give you. And that's that cup that you have your heart space with someone else. See, because there's Three of Cups, but there's really this card is a Four of Cups. But you see how he's holding? You can't even see the Fourth Cup because... It's in his hand over here. You can't see this fourth cup. You're not giving your love to this person. Not your total love. You you love them, but you're not in love with them. You respect them, but you still are. Your heart space is still with someone else. Let's see what the Hierophant is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is this Hierophant card here? Oh, I see. Oh. An independence card, being single by yourself. That's what you secretly wish for, I think, so that you can get back with this other person. You're single. You're single. That's what I think you're wishing for. I think that's what you're hoping for. Um, Or you're single now and you're wishing to get back with this person that you your heart space is still with this person. Um, you're independent now. You got you can do what you want to do. Um but you want to be married to someone else. But I think there's someone else that's in your love space, though. I do. I think there's someone else that's in your, your partnership, your love space. But you still think independent. You still think that you're single. For some reason, I don't see this being a serious, committed relationship that you have. There's not a commitment with this person. I'm not saying that you might not get together with them and do what you do. But there is no commitment because they might think there's a commitment, but I don't. You don't look at it that way. Your heart space is not with them. Let me say it again. You know this. Your heart space is not with them. You've given them just enough. It's almost like they're just, you know, trailing them along. But that's not right either, Sagittarius. So let's see why this high priestess is here. This secret. She's got secrets. And I say she. you're holding these secrets. You're holding these secrets. So let's see why the high priestess is here. Show me. Oh, it's a knight of swords. Oh, wow. I think you want to run toward this person. I think you just don't have the courage, but I think you really want the, the courage to be able to make it a, a phone call, a text, a voicemail, DM, something. I see that because the high priestess has secrets and those secrets, your intuition is there too, but the high priestess is very secretive. You're not telling this other person that you're still in love with someone, but you know what? You don't have to tell them. They know. And I'll say that again. You don't have to tell them. They know. They know. But is that fair to them to be with them when you're still in love with someone else? If they accept that, you know, um, and, and, and perhaps you've told them and they do accept it. But it's still, I mean, it's on them, I guess. It's on them. I think they're wishing and hoping that you do fall in love with them, but you're not in love with them. So let's see what this Ace of Wands is here. I'm going to say something probably. Let me see what this last card is going to be. Because I'm going to tell you something here in just a minute. Show me what the Ace of Wands is here. Look at that. Two of Cups. Whoo! The Ace of Wands is there, I think, too, is that you, when you're making love to this other person, you're thinking about this other person that you want to really want to be with. I do. I think it's all there, all in your head, all in your heart, all over you. Um, you you think and, and think about this person. This is a Two of Cups person. Unity, togetherness, on the same page, public displays of affection. I mean, that's the kind of relationship you have, but you don't have that now. 
But that's what you want. But like I said, when you're with them, when you're making love with them, you're thinking about the other person. Let's start at the beginning here. Six of Cups, someone you want to be with. I read for this. I thought you were past this. I read for you for uh, this for you for, uh, for quite some time, and I thought this had changed. But here it comes back up again. There's a seven of options. You have a lot of cups. The seven of cups is here. There's a lot of options that you have, but there's only one option that you truly want. Four of cups. Like I said, he's hiding that fourth cup over here. There's three cups here. You're giving them just enough, but not the real cup of love. Not the total heart space. You're not giving them that. Whoever this person was, they were your sunshine. They were your, 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 at the end of the rainbow, they were your pot of gold. Rainbows and unicorns on cloud nine. But remember the sun also illuminates the good and the bad. And it's always for your good, whichever way it goes. Whether you stay with them or leave them, whatever. Maybe it was a lesson that you had to learn, but there is someone that is still in your space. Here's the hierophant. You want to be married to them. The hierophant can represent a Taurus sun sign. But here's the deal. You're single. They think that well, you may be with someone, dating someone, but you there. I don't see a commitment here with this person. I don't see a commitment. And here's that old high priestess. There she is. You're holding back. You're their secrets. She's secretive. She has all these secrets. She, you know, her gut, her intuition talks to her too. But she is has secrets. And that secret, the biggest secret that she has right now for you, and you know this, is that you're still in love with someone else. There's a knight of swords. You need courage and bravery to move toward this person. You need courage and bravery. There's an ace of wands there too. Uh when you're making love to your person, you're thinking about the, the person that you really want to be with. Ouch. Just telling you what I see and what the spirit guides are telling me. And because here I see the two of cups, whomever this was, this was, you're still in love with them. This was public displays of affection with them. This was unity with them. You guys had the same morals, ideals to grow, build a family. It was everything. Marriage. This was your two of cups. I don't know what happened. But I tell you what, you've not gotten over it yet, and you still want to be with them. You think about them all the time. So let's see. Show me, oracles, what do you want to show me? What do you want to show me? Well, this is a really good, and I think this is a good card for you to see. It's up to you. It's up to you, and also, they're telling you, take action. If you want this person back, I don't think it's too late. Or even, I mean, you have to do something to clear this energy so that you can move on. So you've got to take some type of action, whether you reach out, communicate, do whatever you do. Because as you can see, they always come back to you. And when I say this energy always comes back to you, think about them all the time. You try not to, but it's you can't fight love. You just can't fight. You can't fight it. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Sagittarius.